I hope I hope you enjoyed that. Um, uh, yes, I had uh, started with a hundred dollars um, and it got down to seventy three dollars and sixty cents. And then I won on uh, the last machine one hundred and thirty three dollars. Yes, Kitty, I love you, too. Um, and so that brought my total uh, up to two hundred and six dollars and sixty cents. And I left uh, the casino with a hundred and six dollars in profit, a little over doubling uh, uh, what I came in with. So today is a, a Q&A session. I have questions from you in the past. Actually, um, uh, some of you <laughs> may may notice that your names are list are shown. Uh, and those uh, questions were from some time ago, uh, but they're still relevant. And I wanted to just answer questions today instead of talk about a topic for about 20 minutes uh, this way. Um, yeah, so if you have questions, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, and I think there was one, if I can find it. Um, so let's start with that one instead. Uh, looks like Steve had a question. What is my take on uh, tribal casinos that change how slot machines pay by inserting like player's card on network of slot machines? So... That's old fashioned. Are you at a very old casino? Um, I, I don't think there's any casinos left that that changes it by walking up to a, um, a slot machine, except for riverboat casinos and, of course, convenience stores. Uh, every every place that could get a, a central server got a central server so fast when they came out in 2012, which is over 10 years ago. Um, the only ones that couldn't uh, were riverboat casinos, as you may know, uh, because they were, um, and they can't run the cables under under the floor because it's not a floor, it's a hull. And if you punch a hole in the floor, you punch a hole in the boat <laughs> and, the, and the boat sinks about two feet into muddy water uh, or two inches. Uh, so they're just, a, uh, that's usually how it works unless you're, you know, uh, well, that's actually how it works nowadays. A lot of the riverboat casinos are working hard to get on land so they can uh, have central servers. So your question is, what is my take on tribal casinos uh, change how slot machines pay by inserting like a player's card on a network of slot machines? So it wouldn't be a player's card if I understand what you're saying. It would be an employee's card. Uh, That's again. Uh, there's no reason to for them to um, uh, walk up to a machine. It can be done remotely uh, from the central server, usually scheduled well in advance. It's interesting that some of the riverboat casinos, which are you know becoming less and less, they have a little light on top. You know the candle, uh, and it's uh, instead of the two lights, uh, it's actually three lights. Um, or even one light, uh, but the three lights in that. And, and so when the slot tech opens the machine, one of those three lights go off and stays off until somebody plays the machine. So you know which ones have been adjusted uh, at Riverwood Casinos. And you can see this at, at, at some of the uh, casinos in Missouri. Um, yeah, so... Don't quite understand what you're saying. It's not a player's card. Um, it's it's remote unless it's a riverboat casino. Uh, no reason to have pay somebody to walk up to it and and make an adjustment when they can schedule it uh, well in advance. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by tribal casinos because this is the same technology on commercial casinos. I actually like tribal casinos because. Their laws are based on a federal law. I mean, they have to work with the states, but the federal law means that every tribal casino has that federal law to go back to. And um, it's not true for the states. The, st the states can do whatever, and uh, they do. So they're, they're the crazy ones. Commercial casinos are the crazy ones. Uh, my goodness. Um, hi, Henry. Hi, Steve. Uh, welcome. 
Okay, so uh, I think that's the question I've seen here. Uh, the video before this was from Legends Bay. I hadn't been, uh, had, I got permission to record some time ago. Um, I think the, the day was uh, the 60-day anniversary of their opening, and that was about nine months ago. And so now I'm recording there, and that is the, the first video. Uh, hi, Mary Ellen. And... Um, Hi, Shawana, uh, and uh, all the machines are brand new, only a few months old. Uh, and I uploaded yesterday a video from Peppermill in Reno, uh, and then I also have a recording of Atlantis, not nearly as exciting. Um, I have to say I've, I've kind of moved from Atlantis being my favorite casino to Peppermill now that I've gone to Peppermill. But of course, I, I must go to casinos that uh, allow me to record. Otherwise, you know, I'm just there from fun for myself and and I'd rather uh, help you guys. Uh, okay, so first question. Um, hi, Dale. Uh, so first question comes from Eddie. Um, I, have, I have some questions from the past. Uh, and one of them is, and questions and comments, I wanted to ask if you think uh, about this. If a casino has good video poker pay tables, could that possibly translate to better odds on their slots? Thanks again for helping all of us slot enthusiasts. Um, so for those of you who play video poker, uh, only in Nevada uh, does the... Um, that state have the gaming regs that say the video game, the video poker and video roulette and any video version of a table game must have the odds of that table game. Uh, and so in Nevada, uh, uh, these video games of table games are not, um, slot machines but everywhere else there is that that gaming regulation doesn't exist and um slot machine manufacturers know darn well that um uh, those casinos are not going to pay extra for extra rules so in other states um the uh, that have video poker machines these are slot machines where not only do you need to find a table to find uh, a, a particular video poker for instance with the pay table that is advantageous, but you also need to play it at a good time, it needs to be highly visible, and all the things that go into winning at slots. So it gets to be, you know, extra, extra effort. Um, and uh, so the question is, just with that background, uh, if a casino has good uh, video poker pay tables, if they, if they have good, good video po uh, video poker pay tables it seems as though they would be treating that they are treating their customers well right um, now few do have good uh, pay tables um, less and less all the time uh, and uh, it used to be far more common um, I've read Bob Dancer's book I've, I got the software to practice um, uh, the which what is the better hand on the different versions of poker uh, uh, video poker and went and went to the casino and played it a little bit but it really wasn't my thing I'm really into slots um, and only now am I in Nevada and uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting back into that video poker thing but again it's not slot machines in Nevada and how does that help you anywhere else in the country so I'm I'm like eh, it doesn't seem like it would be the most helpful uh, of, for you. Um, so if your casino is treating you well with nice video poker pay tables, uh, maybe they are already, maybe they are also treating slots players nice with better slot odds. Now, again, this, uh, you know, slots are not table games. Uh, uh, you can have a row of identical looking uh, the key here is looking uh, uh, I, uh, slot machines, and one of them is has a better payout than the others because this is not a table game. Uh, and uh, so they might have a few of those. Now, again, and we'll talk about this. I think I have a question coming up. 
where it also depends on state rules because this sort of a way of having table games in Nevada, uh, having pay tables for video poker, where it's not advantageous for the player, uh, there's a way to have all that completely differently, but have that happen in slots. And Pennsylvania does it, and Louisiana does it, and a few other states do it. And we'll talk a little bit about that um, because these things matter. I hope that helps answering your question. Yeah, if they're nice to you, then they're nice to you. Uh, yeah, if they're <laughs> if they're beating you up, and 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 the other th other side of things are are true. If they're beating you up on uh, video poker pay tables, then what are they doing on the slots? Yeah, yeah. When casinos are nice, casinos are nice uh, across the board. Um, and lots of hellos. Uh, I think I said hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed that that pre-show. Okay, so uh, Steve has a question, but um, uh, I already put up Pat's question. So Pat Underhill asks the question, any suggestions on a $200 budget for slotting? Uh, so yes, I, I do have a, a suggestion. I wrote up a, um, an article on this. I don't know that I have it immediately available. Um, uh, yes, and uh, I do have some suggestions. Basically, if your budget uh, bankroll is $100 or $200, you are the best of us, okay? You are, you are making it happen. Why? Because if you, this is the topic of my article uh, on it, if you are, and video on YouTube, if you are going in with a hundred bucks, you can't make a mistake. If you go in with 200 bucks, you can't make a mistake. The rest of us are like, well, we'll bring a thousand dollars and we'll just like, sure, um, you know, uh, let, let's blow $500 and then start getting serious. Uh, and then not get serious, and then gets down to two hundred dollars. Like, okay, okay, okay. Now I need to recover. Uh, and um, so, a two hundred dollar budget. I would suggest minimum bets. Uh, this is this is what you do. You are it's it's to start. It's exactly like I showed in the video in the pre-show. I never played in Pepper Mill before or Legend, Legends Bay before. Uh, also, Pepper Mill, that's the other video that came out yesterday, last night. Um, I never played at either of those casinos, so what do I do? Well, I, I I have my concepts, and I need to check to I need to learn my casino well. So I just go in and pick a machine and play it. Minimum bets. Uh, minimum bets um, with... Um, Minimum bets. I just got distracted by Magpie Eleven. Uh, minimum bets with uh, um, the five spin method, uh, it, and wait for the big wins if there are any. And then the second time you go to the, the the casino, the third time you go to the casino, check those win those machines that had wins, and play more because there might be two thousand. Uh, might be 2,000 uh, slot machines in your casino. Which ones, you know, is it every en end of row machine that's highly visible? Is it uh, Tuesday mornings or is it Friday nights? Uh, there, there's lots of things to check. And this is where you take notes. And we talk about this uh, a little bit in 30 Days to Play Slot Smarter and Win, my online course. But we really get into it, uh, combining strategies uh, in slots labs. Uh, so, uh Let's see, and put that away. Yes, okay. So that's what I would suggest you do. Um, uh, you know, a lot of observing, a lot of looking around. Don't be wasting any bankroll. And then when you do play, um, minimum bets just to see if you, um, uh, just to see if you uh, are 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 learning what you need. Um, yeah, uh, I have a question from Serenity. Oops, not that one there. Uh, no, you did not miss the email. Uh, I've been <laughs> I've been busy, uh, um, and 
there's a cat up here. I don't know if I can show you. Just barely make it out. <laughs> He's, uh, she's sleeping up there. Hetty is sleeping up there. And the other one is somewhere else, maybe over by the other window. Um, so, yeah, I, I did not send an email out today. Probably going to hurt my views. Um, but, uh, yes, that is correct. Um, uh, yep. Uh, and uh, there's other questions here. Uh, that um, we have. Uh, first one is, the second one is from Steve. I'm glad you're posting the five stream method on the casino in Reno where you live. So when I come out there, I get a little advantage on what casino has the five spin method, right? So even if it doesn't have the five spin method, I, I put up a video uh, recently about this, putting, been putting up a lot of videos. Um, and even if it doesn't, it's a great assessment tool because uh, you may not get much of anything, uh, but it helps you find uh, winning machines, which is a great thing. Uh, and and so uh, it's multi-use, <laughs> to, to, to say the least. Um, and I want to uh, uh, thank Magpie 11. Is that a new picture? Um, a Magpie 11. Uh, winners manage their bankroll. Uh, thank you. That is uh, wonderful. I do appreciate the donation. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I answered Steve's question entirely. Yes. If you go into a casino, you don't know it at all. You can uh, just play machines until you find a few winners. But then the second time you go to the casino, it's not like the first time you go to the casino. You know something. And so you play more machines. You play the ones that want you went on before. You play more machines, and you get better and better. And I was getting like that in uh, uh, at Atlantis. And now I'm starting to do that at Peppermill. So take these videos of these casinos that I'm doing demos on and, uh, go and play, go back and play those machines, um, that I want on and start, <laughs> um, I, should I say this on the shoulder of giants? <laughs> Uh, and you're welcome, uh, Steve. Uh, Henry, hi, Henry. Uh, when going to a casino uh, between four and six after an event, he means in the morning, do you assess casinos with the five spin method or would it be better to assess them beforehand? Um, so the first time you do it, you don't know if they have uh, the four to six a.m. Uh, uh, accounting balancing method after a big event or after a holiday which by the way next weekend is memorial day so you know uh be ready for that in any case um a major holiday so between four and six what you i like to do um again people can be impatient <laughs> and they they just go play uh, and they, you know, if I want to go use a five spin method in the high limit room. And it's like, dude, check first. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. So, so um, what I like to do is go at four to six in, uh, in, in the morning after a major event and don't bet. Just look around. See if any anybody's there, uh, which helps if there is, and see if they're winning. When when I won my twenty seven thousand dollar hand pay at at five ten in the morning, uh, the, right before that was another uh, over ten thousand dollar win uh, right behind me, and there were the only two people in the high limit room, and and there weren't very many other people in the casino in downtown Cincinnati, uh, so they're handing out you know. Uh, over ten thousand uh, dollar hand pays me and this other person, uh, uh, and so that's what you're looking for, uh, um, and uh, yes, uh, you can you can do that. But Henry, you uh, we we met recently and talked um, and online, and uh, it's great that you are starting to combine things. But uh, remember kind of uh, um, uh, that if you go in, you don't have to spend money. Uh, if nobody's winning, you shouldn't expect to, okay? Uh, that's one thing. Uh, but if you want to assess machines anytime, 
including at that time, uh, you can um, make minimum bets beforehand. But it really is kind of like two different things. Um, it might be one, you know, two birds with one stone, but um, sort of like keep track of what you're doing. I do like four of my methods at once uh, when I'm in, but that's, you know, I've had a little bit of practice at it. And if Flip were here, he would tell you, he goes to Windstar, he would tell you that um, what he does at early in the morning uh, and then on top of that, this, this, and the other things, which combine well. And that's what you start thinking about. This is not something that is discussed more than just one strategy, strategy six in uh, my my 30 days to play slot smarter win because it's about the fundamentals and not about combining strategies slots labs talks about combining strategies and uh, if you're interested in that i think we i told you that exists um you know that is uh, slots labs uh it, it, it once it gets full then i'm i will be uh, turning off registration for that class that class doesn't start for something like three weeks uh, and we go to that page if we wanted to um but uh yeah so um that's the one about combining strategies because there's a lot of basics you need um and uh, Frenzy says, uh, glad your videos are exactly how I conduct my five spin walkthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've i been trying to go when the casino's not busy so that I can sign, kind of show walking up to the machine so you can see, oh, that's over by the entrance or that, that's a row in a, you know, next to an intersection or a main aisle. Uh, because when I was a little bit too close to the machine, you couldn't quite tell that. And so, yes, I am. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm trying to give those helpful hints uh, to people who uh, um, are are studying this. Uh, so, um, let me adjust that. Uh, yes. Okay. There. Good. Um, and uh, says uh, Frenzy also says like the videos helps re uh, reassure that I'm on the right path. Yeah, yeah, That's, and you can see the results. Uh, question from Carlton: On a three carousel bank of machines, I did the five spin method on each machine. Each hit on first spin, which machine do I play? Uh, I would do the tough love method. So that it, it, on each, and um, to see if, which one goes you know, gives you a profit after 10 bets, after 20 bets, after 50 bets, after 100 bets. Um, whether or not a machine is going to be set with higher odds uh, depends on the casino budget. Uh, they they decide how much they're going to give at any particular time and in any particular day, um, and it is all budgeted. <laughs> how can it not be, right? Uh, they can get in serious trouble with any, as with any business, with if they don't budget it. So I was at um, a Soaring Eagle, and it was every end of row machine because the end of the row machine could be seen down the long, the, the wide aisle, and so those wins could be seen there. So they they had a budget where they had chosen to have every end of row machine. But then I was at MGM Grand Detroit, and it was two machines. Uh, over by the entrance from the parking structure that also had a view of the, I forget if it was a smoking area or a non-smoking area, one of the two. Um, uh, I, I don't remember if smoking was allowed in the casino floor and you had to go to a special little room uh, with clear windows, uh, where, clear walls uh, where you didn't have to smoke. I think it was actually a, a smoking parlor um, in, in, in MGM Detroit. Um, so those two machines were it for the casino. Uh, now, there was one more, uh, Twin Win 2 in the high limit room, which was a low limit machine in the high limit room you know that happens they do that uh and that one was you know I, it's the only hand pay that i saw uh in the hour and a half that i was there and i saw uh two hand pays on that machine it's like you know so uh that machine was set up i wish i'd had a chance to get on it um 
so uh yeah it, if your casino has set them all up to be winners uh great um uh it, but you need to check to see if it was just a win uh a, a decent win um i i doubt very much that they were all like you know 133 dollars on your 88 cent bet uh if they were great um but then um you know the tough love approach is uh the, the way to go there yeah um and i will uh for those of you who are watching i will put uh here uh, a card afterwards um and you'll see that there so you know what the tough love approach is okay uh uh, Steve says, I do believe you uh, you do location. Location is a big factor and time of day you're playing. Yeah, yeah it's pretty clear. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Frenzy. I'll look at my phone later. I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Uh, Velvet Duke. Uh, question, is it legal that casinos can adjust odds if betting is on free play credits? Um the basic idea between uh, on the, those states that have a minimum theoretical payout is that it's for money. It's for money. And if you look at your free play, at the bottom of your free play, in the fine print, it will say, I'm paraphrasing, this is not money. This is, has no monetary value. So the, the law is if you get free play, the, the law is if you put money into the machine, this is whatever the state says it is. If it says there's a minimum limit, that is applying. Now, it might not be per wager. It might be lifetime of the machine, which is then easy to adjust um, uh, uh, so that it doesn't win for the first year, and then the second year it does because they moved into a highly, uh, highly visible area. Yeah, so, so that's money. Now, some casinos have uh, found, uh, realized this. Um, what's happening is that 11 years ago, central servers came up. And they brought them out, and they were just like, so happy. And that's wonderful. And now they're like, so are we using central servers to their full capacity? Uh, uh, is that what we're doing here? Are we missing the boat on a couple of things? Uh, and um, one of them, uh, some of them have realized that, hey man, free play is not money. Free play's job is to get you to the casino. And once you're at the casino, its job is done. Now, some casinos are like, I'm not going to pay extra for the uh, central server um, uh, sub-program, sub-algorithm that is going to do that. I mean, they might be morally objected to it. They might be like, I'm not going to pay that because the vendors uh, who offer these things are charging them an arm and a leg. Uh, and so, uh, but some of them have done the cost analysis and says, okay, yeah. So I am, you know, it, it seems like it might be worth to get this program. Uh, and yes, they take a hit on, on this. So if you go to your casino and you have free play and you never win anything on it, that's, that's what's going on. It's not illegal. It's not money. They just recognize the difference. Every, every, all the casinos are like, how can we optimize? How can we get better at what we're doing? Uh, and because they're starting, you know, it, they're starting to whittle it down to a few things. Uh, in one state, different casino free play is converted to real money on voucher. Oh, I have never heard that. Uh, you put free play in, you uh, you spend it. I've I've seen it where you know what you don't spend goes back into your account. Um, but uh, I I I I put my free play in. I play my free play, 
and then I press the cash out button and I get cash. And if there's any free play left, it stays on the machine. That's what I'm used to in my states. So, wow. Uh, why, you know, put the free play in, you're saying, and, and, and press the cash out and you've got the cash. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I have not experienced that. Uh, uh, Jane says, I went to a tribal casino. I only play bingo machines when they open for the day looking for 10 players. Uh, please wait screen came on. It happened an hour later. Also, what is happening? Uh, so bingo, uh, games are a group. The people are playing a single bingo game and you need to, if, if there's only one person playing a bingo game, that person wins everything. Right? Uh, I mean, if you go to a bingo hall and there's nobody there except you, then you win. It might take 10 times longer, um, uh, but you're the winner. Uh, and so they're, they're waiting for 10 players on the game, which is, you know, virtually the machines are connected and they need 10 players. Yeah. Were you there when nobody else was there? Um, and also, it's it's m many machines. Uh, there's many machines, and those machines uh, each have to have at least 10 players. And so uh, if you have a 1,000 people playing a bingo game, several things happen uh, that are not good for the casino. One of those things is that the bingo game is over quickly uh and then another one needs to start another one needs to start another one needs to start and that can be a little frustrating uh and so there's an optimum number of uh, people who need to be playing that bingo game on the machine that you're on uh and you can uh, uh let's see is there a way for me to show you some of that um well you understand what I'm talking about, Jan. Uh, others may not, but if you don't have ac uh, access to, um, if you don't have access to that uh, uh, bingo games, then I don't want to confuse people. Hey, Wally, uh, Wheelie, fifty-five. Good to see you. Uh, Serenity says, I've seen that variance, uh, in free play conversion at my two locals in, in Washington, the state of Washington. Uh, Jill has a question. I see a lot of high grand jackpots and maxed out majors lately, especially on dancing drums and links. Does that mean that the casino set the machines to pay out, um, less frequently? So, uh, what's happening is that uh some of the link machines they love to cap <clears throat> at eighteen thousand eight hundred and eighty eight dollars and eighty eight cents because people go nuts over eight uh, um, and uh, some of the links will do that i've i found uh dancing drums be interested in knowing what kind of cap you saw uh, because I have not found a, a cap on a dancing drums, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, I think maybe um, uh, one of the people in the course um, uh, in, in Slots Labs found one uh, at an airport in Las Vegas, maybe. Um, uh, if you check my notes. Um, so... So the question is, does that mean the casino set the machine to pay out less frequently? If the if so, if you're talking about winning the grand, uh, it may be that they don't want you it, that it won't pay out. It's not less frequently. It's maybe not going to pay out until they want it to, which is borderline illegal. Uh, you can't offer a um, progressive jackpot that can't not be won. It's just not unacceptable. But some of these link machines are links because of that link uh, that goes on 
Um, so they would add to the next jackpot, but cap it for a while, particularly if it's very exciting at $18,888.88. Um, and so there's those business plans that go into work. I don't particularly like capping. Um, uh, one of the things that Let's see, Jill says, uh, had an, another comment about this. Uh, dancing drum jackpots are extremely high, not maxed out. Only Lightning Link has the, has the maxed out. Uh, you are right. Um, okay, yeah, uh, I haven't, uh, so no capping on the dancing drums. Lightning Link uh, can max out, uh, have the cap. Yeah, this, this is something we get into. You might be interested in taking... Uh, slot slabs. This is something we're digging into. Recently, there's been all kinds of revelations. Magpie 11, um, you know, check your email. Uh, you and Chuck, I, 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 I sent a notice because you're you're in the next slot slabs. Um, and uh, wow, <laughs> some interesting things going on there. Uh, and um, uh, right, so let's see. Let me get back to where I was. Um, Slots of Fun says my free play is almost always enough to cover gas. One way to the one way to the casino. <laughs> uh, Steve says, can Slots channels write off their casino losses uh, and expense from their YouTube channel? Kind of tax question. Just say it might be a tax advantage for all to all for all of us. Um, I had my CPA on a live stream like a year ago, uh, and this is a gray area. Uh, it might, I, I don't, I mean, if you, you have a business and you need a camera, that's an expense. Uh, and uh, if you take your bankroll in and you record your play, that could, that bankroll could be a production cost. But whether you could get um, gas as a deduction because you're going to work, well, that's not something that you can do when you, you know, are an aerospace engineer and go to work. You know, they're not paying for you to, you know, paying your gas to go to work. Uh, and so that's the sort of thing that, uh, you know, there are, there are gray areas uh, there. Um, I didn't know you, do you have a slots channel, Steve? Are you thinking about it? Uh, FF chief, uh, chief says I hit the cash out button by accident and lost $8 of free play. Uh, did it go back onto your account? Um, I would normally think that pulling out your player's card would uh, not leave the free play on the machine. There's there's all different kinds of ways that the free play can be lost um, or not lost. Uh, it really does depend on the casino. Depends on the state. Uh, I've I've had you know no problem taking my card out and then all whatever was left at a Caesar's property in in, in Ohio went back on the, the the account and I could go to another machine and download the remainder. But then there's others, uh, other rewards programs, states, casinos that would allow you to only pull down five dollars or ten dollars or fifteen dollars a set amount, and then once it's down, it's down. And if you abandon it, I mean, if you leave, then basically you're abandoning it. Not that the next person playing can use it, it's just like you said, gone. So it's uh, this is a learning process, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, and Velvet Duke says, my only contrast is Washington State versus Nevada for free play. Very, very different in free play. Yeah, um, <laughs> it is. Uh, and my dear friend Paula is in the house. Is that a new picture too? Wow. Uh, congratulations. Um, and uh, uh, Vanessa says, uh, uh, number eight is an auspicious number for the Chinese. Uh, Asian community uh, series of eights, uh, even more so. Yep, 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 yep. Um, hi, Enzo. Uh, cheers from Nevada. <laughs> Welcome from Chile. Uh, 
Uh, Jill says, I think I have uh, to take the time to do your slots labs. Um, yeah, there's all my free content, which, you know, you, you, you're all welcome to take. But then I'm up to, I think, uh, 961 videos on YouTube. And I'm, um, I'm not sure, am I on um, uh, podcast episode 198? Uh, next, my next live stream, I'm not sure if I'll have a live stream on Memorial Day weekend, I may, will be my 200th, 200th live stream. And, uh, you know, that's a lot to go through. Um, but some of you have been here since the beginning and some of you have not. So if you want to get up to speed quickly, that's what the courses are for. Yeah. And there's, there's here and there, there's some things it's all organized and step by step. Uh, uh, and if you went through it for years, uh, you may have not quite done that. Uh, and there might be some things that you missed, um, even if you were diligent about everything that I put out. Um, but uh, if you just found me, <laughs> there's a quick and easy way to get up to speed quickly. Uh, with Slot Slabs, you get uh, uh, it's a thousand dollar course. Um, I will. I don't think I have that shared here. Let me um, share screen window. That one. Yeah. So uh, this is. Um, professorslots.com, my website. If you click on courses, uh, sign in here right at the top, uh, then you f find my courses. Uh, there's a free one on keeping comps record keeping, um, uh, seven gambling record secrets, 30 days. Both of these two are uh, provided as a bonus to Slots Labs. Uh, if, and currently, uh, Slots Labs is starting uh, June 4th, the week of June 4th, which is just under two weeks. Uh, if you look through, there's a video description at the top, but if you look through each one of these, you will see basically how Slots Labs is set up, what is covered, um, it, uh, getting started, uh, talk a lot about progressive jackpots and estimated must hit buys, which is the concept that I'm not explaining right now. Uh, combining strategies is so important. Building on your ability to walk away. That's, I mean, I, my, my YouTube channel says, um, play slot smarter. Two, leave with your winnings because it's almost like, should I even talk about winning when leaving with your winnings is so much harder? <laughs> uh, so that uh, that is one of the topics. And then um, the topic of uh, progressive uh, must-hit buys, which is a slot stalker strategy. Um, and then, uh, you know, I had some questions today about uh, what can I deduct and, and what can I do? And that is... Uh, something where, you know, if you, how do you, how do you treat it like a business? Even if you don't start a bit as business, how do you treat it with all the skills that go into having it, uh, doing it as a business, basically as a professional gambler? Um, and then uh, the future and what to expect uh, and some follow-up activities. There's an alumni club and et cetera. So that is the cost. Uh, and you do get the record keeping templates, which, uh, and the mini course, together with this, as well as um, uh, 30 days to play slot smarter and win. Uh, but please understand that this class is not for the faint of heart. It will take time and commitment, uh, usually around five to six hours per week, sometimes more. Each time I've offered it, it's a little bit more, um, uh, a little clearer, but a little bit more check this, check this, check this. Uh, so sometimes more, sometimes less. If you want to know this, I want you to know this going into the experience so you get the most out of it. And so that is the syllabus. And uh, you can also, it's $997, but you can also make three payments of $359, three monthly payments. Yeah. Uh, and all that is explained when you go to uh, professorslots.com and courses sign in okay uh let's see we have questions we have questions 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 there we are okay um 
Yeah, yeah. States states are different. States have different rules. Yeah, and even the rules can be well, do what you want. In which case, then the casino does what they want. Yeah. Uh, question: uh, Jen uh, says some bingo cards. Uh, if you're a bingo player, this is uh, good information. Some bingo cards switch every spin. Some keep the same card until a win. Depends on the machine game. There are also some that where you have to choose and ask for a new card to, to, to change it to a new card. So that would be a third option. Can slots be bingo based without displaying a card? Uh, assume all others are Vegas style. Um, they're the most common kind of slot machine or the most common kind of gaming machine is a slot machine, which is a class three machine. Now they're not all identical. There's uh, the state of Washington has class three machines based on um, the state lottery. And it's also the special state lottery where it's based on the scratch ticket lottery rather than the draw lottery. So uh, that's a variation. Um, uh, Ohio uh, at their slots parlors, now at their casino resorts, have the same gaming rules at both, but the slots parlors are um, designed to have, uh, are based off of the state lottery. And so those are connected to that. Uh, and but the casino has say, and Illinois has that for the bars and taverns. But the riverboat casinos are casinos, and they run their own. So uh, these are all subtleties to the class three machines. On the bingo machines, bingo machines are bingo machines. Uh, you should be able to see a card. The card is obvious, just obviously displayed or not obviously displayed, but it is displayed. Um, you sometimes have to look. Some I, I got in trouble, not in trouble, I got kind of misled at Winstar when I would put my money into the machine and I would look at it and I'm like, this is not a bingo machine, put money in. And a little a card appeared on the console in front of me on the left side. Um, and now it shows that it's a bingo card after I put my money in. But it wasn't obviously displayed with a big pattern saying this is a bingo machine. And I was like, uh, that's a little subtle. Now, that sort of thing can happen with something called HHR machines, which are another type of gaming machine, not really class two or class three. Um, neither, it, I shouldn't say really, it, it isn't class one or class two. It's horse racing on a machine, past horse races, historic horse races. And these machines are called HHR machines. And they're becoming very popular. They're sweeping across the country. And any state that has horse racing or had horse racing, if the gaming regulations for horse racing, also known as paramutual wagering, uh, is if that's on the books, then these machines are simple to add. It, they, no change in the state law is required. Uh, and so people have run into problems in, uh, where was it? Is it Virginia? Is it might be Virginia, I'm trying to think, uh, where where those they that was on the books. It's also um, uh, historically uh, Connecticut uh, still has horse racing, but their the tribal casinos there are like meh. so you know uh, these Arkansas Kentucky is just booming booming seriously. I'm not even I should be shouting. They're just like wow, what's happened because um, they're crediting it Montana. And other places are crediting HHR historic horse racing machines for having saved the horse racing industry because some of the money from those games goes to what's called horsemen's purses. And so the horses, you know, the, the, the people who have the horses get paid year round. It's not just because, you know, Preakness is what today or tomorrow. Uh, Derby Day was a couple weeks ago. You know, the, these this is a way for them to make money. And so these games are based on, oh, I don't know, 30, 50 games. Every symbol on the machine, the position of its machine, and the line that's drawn on however many credits you have, that symbol is based on the results of a horse in a horse race. And the symbol next to it is a different decade, different horse race, different state. It's the horse result. Uh, 
And so you can have 30, 50 uh, different horse race results on each bet. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Velvet Duke says eight verbally in Chinese is a similar uh, homonym uh, to the word of for wealth or success. No. Uh, Fun says I've tried the five through method with plus uh, three extra spins per machine that did nothing, making it um, eight spins per machine to test the entire row with good results um learn your casino yeah i um uh played 10 machines in the at this was it i actually haven't counted maybe it was 15 machines uh, yesterday's video at pepper Hill was 10 machines and two of them were uh went to five and then i stopped out of the 10 uh but a lot of them were just the first bet so i i, I don't often go to eight because i don't go to eight I get a win before I get to eight. Yeah. Um, I chose five because it seemed maybe I should have used eight. Maybe, the, maybe uh, all our, all our conversations about using the word eight, maybe that would have been a more popular. I mean, I got like nearly a million views, uh, like a million, 1.4 million on my two uh, 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 five spin method. If I had called it eight spin method uh, and, and just said, well, you'll never get to eight. Like you never get to five. Uh, maybe that eight would have been, wow, these, these things that you look back on and go, oh, I missed the boat. <laughs> um, uh, question from uh, Red Vet Man. Good to see you here again. I usually put, uh, I, I usually must put money in a machine before free play is allowed. Hmm. The free play then reimburses the amount I put in. Aren't you uh, then technically paying cash? Wow, this is subtle. Um it depends, you know, ask a lawyer. I mean, these, these are the sorts of things where it's like, this sounds like, this sounds like the casino uh, is trying to get away with something. Maybe there's a rule about having free play. Uh, it's easy enough. It's, you know, whatever this rule is and whatever it means if you play free play and you don't win anything and you play cash and you do, there you go. Uh, that will tell you whether or not this matters in your state when this is happening. <laughs> We're still on eights. Uh, our uh, as are all the denominations you see on some machine relate to two, three, six, eight, all in variation are why you see them on machines in that format. So numerology and fortune-based mysticism revolve in these. Uh, Paula, you want to make a comment about numerology? <laughs> when I first met her, she told me all about it. Um, uh, and I remember everything that she says. Uh, sure. Uh, it hasn't been my experience with having an audience of the slots players that they're particularly set on the number eight. I mean, I, I, I recognize that crowds uh, do this. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, but when I talk to people, they, they don't like grab me by the shoulders and say, you know, do this. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, that the aid is just so exciting. I, I, no one's personally talked to me about it, and I've met so many of you. So uh, I, I'm sure it's very popular um, because, you know, it is, and, and we have reasons for it. But, hmm. <laughs> uh, and Paula, Paula says, uh, I just stepped away and thought you said morality. <laughs> But you must have said numerology. <laughs> I I don't know. Should I go back uh, and see what I said? Uh, morality has been on my mind lately, uh, uh, um, and as you can tell from some of the names of some of my past live streams, <clears throat> uh, and uh, yeah, and as conversations between you and I, Paula, uh, often say. Um, my cat is shedding on me. You can. 
just make out you can make out the tail right there uh there it is um and and hetty does that and over here <laughs> you know um over here you can make out my degrees this is my favorite college degree um it is the first one in my my whole family i outlined it and read it as an associate's degree uh this one over here is a, a doctorate in, uh, uh, in engineering that is a master's degree in business uh, another master's degree in physics um uh, bachelor's degree that i'm sorry master's degree master's degree phd uh, uh bachelor's degree in engineering bachelor's degree in physics is that one right ah no this is uh an associates that is the bachelor's degree uh in uh, 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 science and physics, and then uh, associate's degree, associate's degree, and associate's degree. Uh, yes, a college degree. Don't get too excited. I have the student loans to go with them. So now you feel sad. <laughs> uh, Velvet Duke says, uh, is, is speaking to a uh, vet man. Um, uh, put that up there for a second if you wanted to look at it. Uh, and Jane says, I count spins all the time, always in groups of five or 10, easy for the brain to keep track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, pin to black. Hi, pin to black. Good to see you. Uh, are there best months during summertime to play slots in Vegas or other Indian uh, casinos? Um, that was a question that I had. Uh, coming up, which uh, you've had so many questions, that's great. Uh, so I, I will ask, um, I will review those other questions at some other time. Uh, and uh, yes, that's good, Katie. Uh, but if you were to look at this, where are you at there? Right. Um, I have Louisiana. And this is uh, hasn't been updated for a year. I need to get on this. Uh, um, shows uh, basically a year and a half. I have a better one here. Let me go to it. Um, Professor Slots and my latest articles are doo -doo -doo, should be one here. Uh, Nevada just barely made it. Okay, good. Um, so this is uh, th two and a half years. And so I, uh, I think this might be more relevant for you. Um, and if I were to sh show this, zoom in on this just a little bit. Let's see if I can uh, put your question away, best months. So this is January uh, and blue is downtown. January, January, January. So two of the three dip in January. Dip. Two of them dip and downtown unusually went high in January uh, here low. So this is one, two, three, four Januaries where the odds dropped, but it went up in December, up in December, uh, did I miss one? Yeah, here, uh, and a little bit up in December. So if you are going to a place like Las Vegas or, uh, uh, strip or downtown Las Vegas, they seem to really adjust things depending on when, uh, which month, uh, and that's their choice. And I say it's a choice because if you look at uh, these three, uh, Reno, Wendover, Sparks, their choice uh, is to barely make a change in January. But when they make a change, it is in January, this January, this January. But it's a small change, and 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 um, uh, Wendover went a little low. Uh, Reno went a little high uh, on January, but the rest of the time they're 
pretty darn flat, especially compared to Las Vegas Strip. So again, this is the difference. Uh, this is uh, the difference you will see from state to state. And this is why 20, the 20 U.S. states that offer uh, return statistics, I, I want to try to get those out once a week. And then it uh, takes about a couple of months, four months to get all 20 of them out, 20 weeks, and then start again and update them for, for the last uh, 20 weeks of return statistics. And that's something I need to uh, get better at making sure I turn those out and provide those colorful graphs for you guys. Because, uh, you know, if uh, one of the things I want to do when I go through them again, I'm just trying to get the last couple of years uh, into these graphs. But really, I, I'd love to go back and uh, um, uh, looking at, uh, where is it? Yes, uh, um, Lake Charles, Louisiana, uh, and look back at, over that for you know, more than just a year and a half. Bring it up to 2023, a year later, um, and get all that data. But then go back eight years, they, they, or rather uh, 2008, uh, 15 years, and uh, do look at the whole 15 years and, and see what's going on in those four state regions. Um, but uh, that is something that is uh, something I'm, I'm working on and trying to get out. It takes a little while to get all that done. Um, yeah, so coming back to this, uh, where are we at? Um, where we... Yep, uh, trying to see. Um, in the state of Washington, the, the five spin method has built in. I've seen one of my latest videos from this last week, has a built in money management technique, two of them on loss limits and preserving gains. And those are uh, really helpful uh, to, to in the state of Washington. So while the state of Washington doesn't exactly have the five spin method, it's such a useful approach that there people have success at it in, in the state of Washington. Um, <laughs> uh, and Paula uh, did comment on numerology, uh, or unless you're commenting on morality, which I, I'm, might have said instead, uh, take it with a grain of salt like anything. There are many mitigating factors that can feed into the energy where you're at. You can't just rely on one vibration number. Sounds like a physicist. Um, let's see, questions. So that, uh, going back to Pinta Black, uh, are the best months we can see in the data that usually not January. Uh, the summer months, um, you know, one of the things I want to do is in, in, in Nevada is show you reports on just penny slots. Uh, for all that, what I was just showing you, penny slots. Uh, and, uh, you know, do the same thing. Do the same thing for nickels and multi-denomination and you know, five cent, 10 cent quarter machines, all of that. And some states uh, like Mississippi will have progressive quarter machines and non-progressive quarter machines. And, uh, you know, there's there's lots of good information to dig into because, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if uh, uh, pin to black, it doesn't matter mostly except for January uh, for Reno, Sparks, and Wendover. Um, but then it does matter, uh, you know, if you go through this and say, is it every April that it goes high on the Las, downtown Las Vegas? I mean, this is why I have um, uh, consulting uh, is because people have these questions. Uh, if you go to consulting here, you can watch my video on, on, on getting help. And so I, 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 I could, I could produce lots of, lots of videos that would help very few people a lot. And, uh, um, that sort of thing is I'm just trying to help a lot of people 
a lot. Um, but if you have a question, I'll be happy to research it for you. Otherwise, I don't have time to answer very, very specific questions. Uh, how is Isaac? Isaac is doing great. Uh, my sister uh, trimmed his hair recently. I, I kind of think that he needs to have that sweep on a golden retriever has the, the, the beautiful tail. And she basically had it cleaned off so it doesn't like have that sweep to it that fan to it i'm like oh that's such a beautiful thing but apparently he's been kind of rummaging around under the house uh in michigan and uh getting into things that leave him rather dirty <laughs> but with a big grin on his face uh so yeah he's doing great uh, uh my golden retriever um uh, I did not bring him with me to Nevada, to Reno. Uh, when I moved here in October, I brought two of the cats. Um, and uh, thanks to you, Chuck, for being so patient with the 32-hour drive out here with two cats in the back. Um, and um, my uh, younger sister took uh, Isaac, my golden retriever, a uh, very young golden retriever, and one of my cats, Curie, the calico, uh, the the white calico, calico with white. And not that one who's sound asleep. Uh, and they're they're both doing great. Uh, he's surrounded by children. Uh, and the uh, my my sister, younger sister, has adopted my um, you know the usual family things. I used to say um, uh, families. Uh, it's it's a '90s family. <laughs> but that was 30, 30 years ago. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, she's adopted our grand niece and nephew, uh, and then her own daughter has like five children at this point, and they're all like touching him and petting him, and he just loves it. So he's in better life. Uh, and yep, see you later, Paula. I'll probably give you a call when you're eating sometime. Uh, question from Wheelie55. So the five spin method doesn't work everywhere. I'm in Southeast Virginia. We got our first casino and we have had uh, one HHR place in, yeah, Rosie's, right? Um, the five spin method has multiple good things about it. The title says it's one thing, but I didn't tell you <laughs> in the description that there's all these things in it. So it is a versatile tool. Even in states where the five-spin method can't work, the one state where it can't work in the state of Washington because their machines are based on the tribal lottery system and it's using virtual scratch tickets, it still works great for people because they get up from the machine when they get a win. Which, if you play slots walking away with your winnings, uh, you know how hard that is. But when it's part of how to play a machine, and there's more to it than that. It, it, um, so you can do it on your HHR machines and walk away with money um, or less or less losses. Um, and it, you're, you're, I think there's a second casino that's open in Virginia, right? Uh, um, Southeast is, is one of those. Um, did you go to... Do you go to, oops, yeah. Um, if you go to professorslots.com and then slash your two-letter po two letter postal designation, I have an article for every U.S. state and territory and our federal district. If you go to Virginia, uh, there's a map. All these have similar entries. So south, east, uh, you're talking about rivers, right? Not uh, the horseshoe at Danville. Um, Bristol opened first, and I think uh, Rivers is coming up, and I maybe Danville opened, and then there's a tribal casino. Uh, so if you're in the east, uh, you're talking about Rivers, but you may be uh, uh, hearing about a headwater, headwaters. Uh, and let's see. Yes, uh, tribal casino. Uh, so... Um, Caesars Danville uh, is scheduled to open in 2024. Bristol, I know, already opened. Fun goes there if you want to ask him questions. And then there's Rivers, uh, expected to open in uh, 2022. And I believe the temporary facility did. Yeah, that's open. 
uh, but I haven't heard <clears throat> I haven't heard about Danville. So I guess you're talking about rivers. Uh, but <clears throat> you know, you might want to check in to where is it uh, headwater uh, that was approved for Norfolk. Yeah. Uh, did you, can you see that? Okay. Headwater uh, in Norfolk. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and rivers is yeah. So yeah, south southeast you said so uh, right. But you might want to check into headwater and see what's going on with that. Uh, sometimes there can be some delays. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, well, my voice is starting to to give out. And uh, thank you for your questions. Um, uh, if you have a, uh, let's see. You know, make sure that you sign up for my Slots Labs course. <laughs> uh, there are still some openings left. It, was, it starts in about two weeks. Um, and uh, there, it's $997 and, or, uh, for one-time payment, or th uh, you can uh, 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 have the three easy monthly payments for that. Um, it's a great deal fun, very, you know, combining strategies, all those things. If you go to professorslots.com slash SL, uh, uh, you will see the full description uh, and my video description and all of that. Uh, maybe you're ready for it. Maybe you're not. And if you are, uh, you are welcome right up until the class fills. Uh, I'm only accepting 20 people and I already have half that. Uh, and uh, then cut it off, and you'll have to wait six weeks for this that one to end before I start another one. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, once it's done, it's done. Uh, thank you, everybody.